Welcome everyone, this is Zon with Repro Products. Uh, today's video is a Bluebeam review tip on how to use the polylength command and also to get the individual segment lengths to show up in the markups list for exporting purposes. Here I have a PDF file that has some vector based line work in it and I want to use the polylength command which is under the measure tab of the ribbon and the polylength command is here. Make sure you calibrate the file, the view, and or the sheet prior to working with it. So you can use the calibrate command over here to do so. I do have a video on that. You can look it up under my YouTube channel. Um, this one is already calibrated. So I'm going to use the polylength command. And when you start this command, it'll ask you to place the points. The polylength command is similar to the, the perimeter command, but the difference is that it gives you each individual length segment as well as an overall. So for example, I can click here, and then here, and if I double click at the end, I'm finished. And if you'll notice, I can select that markup, I can hold the shift key and left click and drag the text to get it out of the way, so you can see it a little easier. You can rotate it individually, the text, so you can see the general overall measurement. At the same time, if you go over to the properties of the measurement, you're going to notice um, that you can go ahead and set the individual um, data. For example, show individual segment values. So if I have this unchecked, it won't show each individual segment. It'll just show the overall. But if I click it, you'll see everything. You can also align it horizontally. You can obviously move them individually if you have to. You can hold the shift key and click and drag the piece of text and move it individually. Also, under show caption, if you have it unchecked, it won't show the overall caption. And you can click Edit to get additional data to show up if you need to show up. Now, if we take a look at this particular uh, poly length uh, measurement, it's in the markups list down here. And it lists the overall under Comments for the length. Uh, we had an end user request, how do I show the individual ones in the markups list? Now. When you see this, uh, there's a small trick to making sure that this is going to come out the way you want. <clears throat> if I select the poly length and I right click and I say split all, then it will break it up into each individual uh, segment length and you can see each individual segment length. If you necessary, you can select your uh, poly length content and then you can click don't show the caption and those will disappear you'll still get the individual lengths as well as the overall as well. And again, you can rotate it if you need to rotate it. In addition to that, double check as well the font in regards to the size. Sometimes it gets a bit large, so if you drop it down, it'll be a little easier to manage. Now, since I've done the split all, you'll notice that um, the total overall measurement is gone and it doesn't even list here in the markups list. So if you do the split all command you'll lose the overall total length. However, I'm going to undo this for a second. Here we have it back to that state where it has not been split and you still see the overall um, measurement. If you want to put your mouse over the overall measurement and right click and say copy the actual text. then uh, right click in the area that you're working with and paste. That way you have a general piece of text for that. Now that you've done that, you can go through the process of selecting the poly length and doing split all and you'll get the individual segments. And then again, like I said, go through the process of selecting all of it and you know turning off the overall um, captions and they won't show up now as well as the size so let me go ahead and make the adjustment to the size because I don't like it being that large on this size um, drawing and then this one as well now if we look very carefully you're going to notice that <clears throat> down here in the markups list it'll give you each individual segment length like so you can hold the control key and select all of them and then right click and group them and it'll, it'll all be grouped 
and then you already have the text box that shows you the overall measurement and from here you can export it out to comma separated value Excel and just do the one that you want to work with so I am on page um, page 3 of 33 so I'm just going to do the current page and I'll say OK and I'll tell it to place it under my temp folder and I'll hit save when it's finished we'll open up Excel and open up my computer to the temp folder Oops, still not done let's give it a second so if I open up my uh, temp folder under the C drive I'll see that sample markups list set dot CSV file and if I open it up <clears throat> you'll see you'll get the all the columns of all the information under the markups list so what we want to look at is comments and you'll see here comments general measurements um, 24 7 and a quarter and then you've got the total overall right here now because we grouped the individual segment lengths um, under one area here called general dimensions and it was collapsed like this the uh, markups list got exported this way <clears throat> if I expand it and I go through the same process and I say just the current one and we'll place it again on my temp folder and this time I'll call it markup sys, uh, set 2 let it do its thing we'll open up uh, file explorer and go to temp and see the set 2 let's look at the results and again it's only going to show you the overall piece of text that we said for the overall but the grouping still holds and it just says general dimensions so if we head back over to Bluebeam Review and we break away the grouping and have the individual segment lengths and then we export <clears throat> one more time again saving to my temp folder and this time I'll save it as 3 <clears throat> we'll open up the uh, Windows Explorer head over to that temp folder and look at uh, the third one and you'll still get a general measurements 24 and um, your overall piece of text so what's going on what's happening is that um, I had multiple Excel files open and so the one that we want to look at is the set 3 and I had set uh, we were initially looking at set 2 so now if we look at set 3 we can see the individual segment lengths so my overall intention was not just to uh, show you what is the poly length command and how it functions and how to get the individual segment lengths to show up in the markups list but also I wanted to show the information in Excel and the last request uh, by the end user was um, he wanted to use it to create totals so I couldn't figure out a way to create a total of all the segment lengths here as a markups list um, other than a piece of text and then I couldn't even take this piece of text box and move it down this list but at least you have it here since you have it in Excel and you have the individual lengths that you can go ahead and grab all of these and you can do a, a total a summon of it as well so you can put it down here and say it's equal to um, this cell um, all the way down to this cell and these as well and then you'll get your totals and that's it thank you very much for watching